Well, I do remember. As a matter of fact, it was just before my father, you know, got into the uh, industry. And, you know, we were talking about that. We hadn't made any cigars yet, or he hadn't made any cigars yet. So I said, let me see what a cigar is like. Because up to that time, I really hadn't smoked. And I think I was about, I don't know, 18, 19 years. And I remember going to a, uh, a drugstore and buying a, uh, you know, one of the machine-made cigars. And this was a Candela. So I was going to go uh, do a gig up in Hollywood. And uh, that time I had a, uh, I think it was a 65 Mustang. So I put my drum set in, put my torcido on, and uh, got in the car, lit the car, and lit the cigar. I started smoking the cigars, all the windows were up, you know. I would say, I want to see what this experience is like. Well, I, I hate to say, you know, once I got to the job, I set up the drums, <clears throat> and we started playing. In about 15, 20 minutes into the, the set, I started puking. I mean, the whole room started going round, and believe me, it was not a pretty experience. And that was basically my, my first experience with the cigar. So when my father, you know, when we started actually, you know, I, I kind of took it a little bit more cautiously, let's say. I was hoping to, um, you know, one time to be a musician. So if I wasn't uh, making cigars, I think I would have been, I would have liked to be uh, playing music. One thing that I would have liked more to do is learn, you know, maybe how to grow tobacco. Uh, that I'm not, you know, I've really never ex had that experience of growing tobacco. And I think uh, for me, maybe it would have been good, maybe it would not have been good. But I think it's something that I've always, you know, wanted to learn more about. And uh, making a cigar. I mean, I can make cigars, but I'm not a master cigar roller. Well, there have been a lot of changes, you know, in the older days, and I'm talking about, you know, 40-some years ago, you know, the size of the cigars, you know, the 40s, the 42 ring gauges, the limitation of the tobacco that was available at that time. Compared to now, you know, the bigger ring gauges, the amount, the vast amount of, of, of you know, great tobacco that's out there, it's, uh, I mean, it's really become a, a I wouldn't say a science, but you really have to know your, your, your tobaccos and uh, you really have to be up on your blending skills. You know, in spite of everything that's going on there, and we, we saw this year the industry grow basically about 10%. You know, in spite of everything that's going out there, I think that, you know, us cigar manufacturers, you know, the retailers, the, the people that smoke cigars, you know, we believe in what we're doing. And I think when you believe in what you're doing and you believe in the product that you're putting out there, <clears throat> it's gonna survive, you know? And I know right now there's a lot of uh, issues with the government and somehow I think that's going to go away. If it doesn't go away, you know, the industry is going to adjust and find a way to survive and grow. So I'm very optimistic.